Drogrome. On se retrouve pour une nouvelle partie sur euh, Oxenfree. Euh, comme pour les derniers streams, je vais couper mon son qui est devenu parfaitement inutile. Je crois qu'il n'y a plus rien à rajouter sur les commentaires concernant ce jeu, qui est, ma foi, fort réussi. On se retrouve euh, en fin de stream pour un petit débrief. Et des bisous, comme d'hab. Euh, en attendant, je vous laisse regarder tranquille. À toutes. Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. <sighs> There's something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying, like, secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy-Do or whoever to figure it out. What's a Scrappy-Do? I guess. There's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a... Chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? <sighs> Negative. But maybe I just missed it. She made a lot of... what should I call these... slides? They're... they're not videos. Um... silent memories? Oh. Oh, it's like a... it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not... It wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No. We looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh. Well, the uh... The keys, they... they have to... It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love her antiquated security. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. you scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. How do you get in here? The door was locked. Do you have, like, a radio? No, I don't have a radio. The kitchen window was open. Kitchen window? Where? I don't believe you. These windows don't even... They don't work like that. How would you know you've never been here? Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good thing. Yeah, let's just find the keys to the boat or a phone or whatever and just find a way home. I promise. We can all keep talking and... Fine. Okay, let's focus up. Everybody find something and hope that it helps. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Attics are always a little haunted house spooky, right? It's the tight spaces, the darkness, the spiders, the creaking, and... Well, I'm actually, that about covers it. Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, 
tune into the source? We think that means she couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? should be. How does it go? Think Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. Ren, come on. We got a boat to catch, buddy. Come on, Jonas. I, I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused, but don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Why are you doing this? I thought you... you guys were stuck here, or, or that this wasn't... You signed up for this, Alexandra. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. How was I meant to know what the hell was gonna happen? And yet, without, without understanding, understanding your footing, you still acted. But don't worry. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother does. What is it with you guys and all the, the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with a softball. I spy, with my little eye, radiation. There is, of course. Is it... are you talking about the TV? Very good. Well done. The older models emitted x-rays. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're... I not. spy, with my little eye, a notch. That's my best song. Uh, is it the, the... this painting? It, it looks kind of like a knot. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You're doing so well. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. The, the picture of, of... I guess it's Maggie Adler and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. See, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing... Well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. And in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we'll use the waves to absorb into your friends so as sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You, you can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex. And what it seems to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. It will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life. And on to the next. Please just don't do this. We're... We're it's not... sad, I know, to lose the facility to feel, to be, but we have not felt anything for a very long time, and we'll do whatever is necessary. Whatever 
castle patched on the rocks. We have until dawn, and so will you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. So, I'm kind of screwed. Hopefully, this will work as usual. Okay, seriously, who are you? So we can go on. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Ah, uh, no. I wish it was a dream. Usually there's a lot more talking horses. We're in, like, trouble. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of really are. So, I mean, Christ, if Clarissa was whisked away to the cave by nuclear submarine monsters, then, I mean, the plane has to be to retrieve her, right? I'm still going to call them ghosts, if that's okay. A ghost? Clarissa is only like one slice of the problem. We're all infected or whatever, so we need to rip the issue off like a bandage all at once. Okay, great, yeah, but how do we do that? Well, uh, good question. We could, I mean, using the radio to tune into that triangle thing in the cave started it, so, I don't know, maybe tuning it differently or something will fix it? Yeah, or if your car is on fire, you could just pour gasoline on it, right? Well, maybe she has a point. Why do the one thing that we know got us all... All right, there's already something in here. Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this God, is... God, it's just the first thing. Just give it a second to warm up, will you? Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave. Just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, but... so... It won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like... scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like... this looks like the end, but from the... from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it... Like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the catbird station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Okay, any other ideas? Preferably ones that aren't unnecessarily complicated and obtuse and hanging by the thinnest spiderweb thread of relevancy. All right, then. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me I won't want to know. 
Well, now I'm gonna run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No! Alex, Alex, okay, are you, are you back to normal? I just saw, it, it, it was like a premonition, I think, and, and I know that sounds whatever, but this must be what it's like when people say they do that, because I kind of just saw Ren drowning. Okay, okay, just take it easy for a second. You went all red-eyed, like when we get possessed. I did? You stopped walking and started mumbling, and then your eyes lit up like little road flares. It only lasted like a minute, but we should hurry up and do this before the door on you opens any wider then. <laughs> no, look, it kinda made sense. Hey, guys. Uh, wait. Did I get the plan wrong? Cause if I got it right... No, you didn't get it wrong. I saw... I saw Ren drowning in a... The only way to describe it is it was like a vision or something. What? Seriously? Alex got possessed for a minute there. And yes, it was scary, but it was just a hallucination triggered by ghosts rummaging around through her brain. No big deal. I mean, they're clearly fine. Well, Look, Jonas, it was real, all right? As real as the other loops or any of the other hundred crazy things that have happened tonight. Don't say that. What am I supposed to do with this? It's not like I can really avoid drowning any more than I can normally do on a daily basis. You're on land, Ren. I don't think anything's gonna happen. But then... Just be careful, all right? I don't know why I saw what I saw, but just keep on your toes, okay? Well, I am now, yeah. Okay, well, it's been fun catching up, kids. We'll go do our half of the fix the ghost problem equation now. The thing I don't get is, what if everyone at their respective stations were on, like, a lunch break or something when the bombs started falling? What would open the door then? I don't think you're allowed to take lunch breaks when you're on active nuclear annihilation watch duty, so it'd probably never come up. You know what time it is? Doesn't your phone just have a clock? I checked mine, but ever since we've been jumping in and out of loops, or whatever we're calling them, it's been acting... 
I don't know, weird. It won't really give me the right time. French fries with ice cream, good weird, or like five nuts and one peanut kind of scary weird? Nah, uh, somewhere in between. It's no big deal, it's just acting like I dropped it or something. You think this tuning into the tear thing's gonna work? Like, really? Yes, uh, undoubtedly, without doubt. Abs I think that this um, stuff is getting pulled in from like their time or something. This is so weird. Um, yeah, it's not exactly a good omen. I think we're running out of runway here. Oh, Jesus, what are you doing jumping across that? There's another, there's like another way down Relax. here. Relax, it's not as big a jump as it looks. You, uh, barely made it, but okay, I guess. Man. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. <sighs> I hope this works. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. <sighs> God, we're in another loop de loo They always come at the most appropriate times, don't they? <sighs> yeah, they do. Thanks for the update. Now the station's up at the top of the hill. I hope this works. Yep, I am also... <sighs> hope that. Would have been better had it never been found. For all CBK. 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 One. CBK. CBK. One. CBK. <laughs>
Ren! No, no, what happened? What's wrong with Ren? Ren, he's... He had an accident. He... He died. I couldn't... How? I, I mean, yeah, we just saw you. How, how did this happen? He... He drowned. He took a fall. I don't know. He just... He just stopped. I mean, does it really matter what happened? Either way, done is done. And done. Uh, no, you're not Jonas, so there's no use in pretending. Soon it won't be a pretense. It'll be an absolute. Alex, we know you're in charge, and we know your plan, and we also know that your plan won't work. It never does. So we have a proposition for you. A deal. A bargain, really. And um, a proposition? L like what? It's already over for Clarissa. She's gone. We'll pilot her through the rest of existence, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you agree to let us take her, let her go quietly and without fuss, you won't slaughter the rest of your friends. Like young Reginald here. We leave the rest of you cattle alone. We only really... No, no, no way! I'm saving everyone! Everyone is coming home with me. We're all getting out of here. Uh, courage is not always the way, dear. You don't have much time left. Do you know how we know you don't have much time left? Fine. Shoot. How do you know? We know because we can be Jonas for this long, and his soul is as quiet as an empty church. Just never say we didn't provide you all the rules. She thinks that the ghosts were pushed out of our reality and maybe aren't actually dead? The station's up at the top of the... Ugh. God. That was... My mouth feels like I just... ate a... tree. The ghosts, they tried to make, like, a deal with me for Clarissa's life. I, I didn't take it, of course, but... I don't know, I, I just thought you should know. God, that must mean they're getting desperate or something. If they had any, like, power over the situation, they wouldn't try to work out a compromise. Anyway... Hello? What? Are they? Oh, they're, um, they're somehow, I guess they're somehow broadcasting or something from the, uh, station speakers. <laughs> are you guys at the station? Anybody? How are they Jonas? doing that? Ah, uh, Jonas beats me. Punch out I mean, there has to be, like, a switch on their end or something to control the, uh, Seriously, right the talk room. box. Jonas, don't listen. We're all set here for the, uh, the thing? 
the machinery speak and hug or whatever we're doing? Yeah, let's do it. Time's wasted. Like, actually wasted. Like, I feel my body wasted right. away. Radio locked. No, it, it's, it's okay if you're, like, dealing that. with stuff. Okay. We have to deal with stuff. What stuff? The, uh, when I almost kind of slipped and fell off the bridge. Oh my god, you guys, that... No, it was this. It was psychotic to watch. Like, almost doesn't quite describe the terror that held my heart watching her come close. It wasn't that. You were perilously close to tumbling into the ocean. Hello, we're here. We made it. Hello. Oh, hello. This is Edward Island's emergency. How may I help you? If you're being sat on by a very large burglar, just mash the dial with your fist, please. Oh, thank God. I'd like to report a poltergeist. They've come into my house. They've shaved all my cats. They look better in my mittens. Oh, I just need any and all advice you can give me. Well, first... Can everyone just shut up. You can play dress-up phone time when you get home. All right, Mr. No Fun. No Fun? What is that? Swedish? Man, you guys are a real comedy team here. Stunning. The wit on display. Signal verified. Shelter TF1 open. Nice. I guess it worked. Great. Okay, we'll meet you there. Right. See you at the shelter. Over and out. Yeah, Mr. Jordan. Couldn't we have him reborn? Uh, what? Who are you talking about? Okay, 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 I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... Are you okay now, really? Really? Yeah, I think. It's just, um... Uh... Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like, just, like, how do I say this, because... Okay, I have a time limit for rambling nonsense, so let's pick it up a bit. I just want to say, I just, I think it would have been, a uh, interesting, us living together for whatever senior year. And I'm just glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. Oh, Jonas, you big sap. Okay, all right, that's all, nothing to see here. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. Yeah, let's finish strong now. No half acidness at the end. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight, but... You know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. What concert? It wasn't... you can't call it a concert. It was like an all-day, all-night, like, festival with tents and, like, a hundred bands. I don't care if it hit a million bands, Alex. Ashley had stolen her mom's car to go. 
And I know you say you didn't know that, which, whatever, but you still knew mom and dad had barred you from going. <sighs> Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car, however inadvertently. Mm, nope, not promising that. What's the point in living if not to boost cars for an underworld criminal empire? I guess I can't answer that. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. Wow, big man on campus. I don't know why I said that. Big step, that's what I mean. Big step. Eh, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, so, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, I just wanted to tell you. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is, it's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. Really? Why leave? I mean, yeah, it can suck sometimes, but it's pretty much like everywhere else. This is gonna sound weird, but everybody knows me here. I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Oh, get off it. I would love if people gave me the benefit of the doubt even once, but no. What do I hear? Alex got the weird genes. Well, you did get Mom's creepy ankles, so... Uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Uh, it was hard? I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Oh my, how profound. I can't believe Uncle Pete's a mere failed actor and not teaching philosophy at Berkeley. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> <sighs> oh, shut up! Alex? Shut up, shut... Uh... <sighs> you got, you know, you went bad again? I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done, now. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just, I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked into it like nothing happened. Come on, it's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. No, I just always do the poster. I mean, you get the option, right? Is the bomb shelter open? Did it work? I hope it worked. Please tell me it worked. Oh, yeah. It sprung open. But, Rin, wait, seriously. In AP English, all you had to do was make a fake... Is... Can you, like... I want to just do this. I... I want to get this off my chest. Just... Something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghosts or whatever, but... You've been acting like... Not you. Rin. No. Ren, are you... This is what you want to tell me before we go in there? I know. I'm sorry. It's, it's, just been, it's just been a crappy night. I don't even know what I'm saying. This is stupid, but can we, like, take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and... Yeah, let's do it. 
We're on a beach. Kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. All right, let's take it. Alex, get in here. You're not getting out of it. <sighs> All right. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. Listen, Alex, I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting worse. You'll be fine, Jonas. Come on, just shake it off. Don't fade on me now. Hey, what do you call a man who's short of time? Huh? Have you heard this one? You know, one? I'm not really in the mood Tim. for... Tim. You call him Tim. Huh. <sighs> oh, brother. Yeah, it's not one of my finest... It's... it feels like wrong to see one of these when we're not in a, a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. It's kind of spooky, right? The beds? Thinking they would have slept here while the rest of us burned? Yeah, but do you think it would even have worked? Like, if... if Yugoslavia or whoever dropped an A-bomb on their heads? <sighs> Too late now anyway. We never got to try it out. Wait, it's... Oh, damn. It's another radio wave lock thing. Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just... Don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out... Jonas, we're all getting out of here. I mean, look, we're about to fix this in two minutes. Two minutes! This is microwave popcorn of a problem. I'm not asking, I'm telling. Okay, Mr. Dramatic, will you just shut up and help me with the door? Wait, 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 okay, you know what? There's, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over the place? Okay, if it'll make you feel better, we'll investigate the case of Jonas's mom's weird song before we save our lives. Sounds perfect. It's like breaking or something. Can you... can you fix it? It's... it sounds like it's her. Like a recording, or it's just... it's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but... you can hear that. The voice, right? I can... kinda hear it. Is it possible? Do you, th do you think it's possible? I mean, we've been, like, talking with ghosts the entire night. Do you think it's... like it could be, right? It's just... W with everything that's happened, she could have come here. I... Jonas, I'm sorry, but I, I really don't think that's her. Like, really her. Well, how would you know? And I mean, you don't know that for sure. I'm not saying I know that for sure, but from the stuff we've seen tonight, it just... This has to be possible, right? God, she's, like, so close. You can just... Can you just try and tune in the signal? This tape player thing isn't even... I have no clue what's going on, but... If you could just help me with this right now. Uh, sure. I, I can... I can try, I guess. Yeah, because this... I don't know how to get this clearer, or whatever. I just can't... I just can't really get this to change, or... Uh, Mom, can you... Uh.
Oh no. You know, the truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. What are you talking about? You could leave? What does that mean? Us being here at all is a constant struggle. We've had our fingers dug into the cliff's edge, waiting and trying to come back. Waiting and screaming at anyone who give us so much as a glance. I'm not sorry for you. You could have just ended at any time. I, I don't even know why you would- Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Worse than dying the first time. No, uh, of course not. But you have to, no matter how hard it is. No, we don't have to. We don't have to do anything. Not anymore. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back. We won't. Go back. Child, so, Jonas, Jonas, are you, are you here? Jonas, are you, are you in here somewhere? Anybody, Clarissa? Guess not. come to close the hole I've come to to do what Maggie Adler tried to do 50 years ago all right <laughs> okay well it didn't work then why would it work now god you're so spoiled you don't even know the cost of things <laughs> closing the hole with your stupid toy will spare your your friends from our bloom sure but it will seal you up in here with us you'll die with us again and again wait really what why is that? Look around you, dear. You're on the wrong side of the tracks. One last chance. You don't have to die. You can leave, you know, through the gate you opened. And we keep the girl. just gonna abandon Clarissa. Who do you think I am? Who do, who do you think we are? Do you think we wanted to be thrown away? Like some faulty appliance? We won't let it end like that. They didn't know it was you. Nobody, barely anybody knew. It wasn't just Maggie's fault or their fault. It, 
It was a catastrophic event. Catastrophic events? You make it sound... Faded? Like some faulty appliance? We won't let it end like that. There's... I know there's a crewman on that submarine named Francis, and to you, to all of you, I know it was fate, okay? Sometimes things go bad. You'll never change that. Francis. Was our name ever... Francis? Francis. I... almost remember. My... name? Please, you don't have to do this. Don't hurt my friends to come back. It won't... won't be what you want, I don't think. Not now. We don't know what we want. What I want. Francis Salter. It's hard to remember certain things. Our faces went a while ago, then our names. Names. Our names. But our anger. Our anger is... We're afraid of all we have left. It's kind of the last stitch. If that's really all you have left, then you can always take it with you. Scrap it. Keep your nature. We keep ours. Maggie had, has, will have this friend, and you sort of remind us of her. Strange girl. Odd tempered. Take care. With the time you have left, child, and take notice of what you choose to. Jonas! Jonas, where... where are you? Okay, this is... this is gonna be fine. Just... work through it. Don't tell Michael what to do about Clarissa, okay? But... Michael's... dead. How could I even... Whoa, wait, what... what's happening? Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What is... How is this possible? What's going on? Could have gone better. <sighs> right. Time loop. Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Are you back? Are we back now, or...? Uh, yeah, I'm back. I was only gonna be at Terry's house for the game. I've been, like, struggling with this stupid speech, the graduation thing. 
I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have like a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. Uh, sure, yeah. Give it a theme. I'm guessing mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. Well, uh, what are you thinking? Engineering? Well, you said something about sports medicine one time. Yeah, I don't know about that anymore. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I bored you enough. I'm boring me right now. Listen, here's the... <sighs> you can't tell mom or dad, but Clarissa and I are talking about just leaving. Getting an apartment somewhere and... and just doing our own thing, you know? Getting jobs and... Oh, wow, that's... that's exciting. This is like a huge deal, like... like the boxcar children version of getting married or something. Uh, it's... yeah, it's kind of a big deal, I guess? It'll be a lot harder to break up, so... There's some level of, uh, Val there. She's been really pushing for it, wanting to look for places, and, uh, I'm into the idea. I really am. I just, I wouldn't feel right about it if I didn't have your, like, blessing first. So, can you just wave your hand over my head or something and say I'm all right to do this? I... God, it's hard for me to say since I love you, of course, but you should do it. Totally. Even if it explodes in a nuclear war-style breakup, you'll regret never trying. Thanks. That means a lot. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. Um, okay. I'll make a, a checklist. This is just... This is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... I know I'm amazing. But soon... I shall be so I cannot remember any, but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, she's waking up. Is she all right? Ugh. Ouch. Is, um... <clears throat> is everyone doing all right? Still, um, yourselves? Yeah, I think we're all accounted for, right? Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, my arm fell asleep, Jonas but... carried you here. Yeah, 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 okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. The tear, the hole, it's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. Yeah, it's important to note that. That's... I'm... I'm glad. I'm sorry. I'm just... I was back. I fell back a few years during the whole thing, and... I just saw Michael again. That's all. So, I'm just a little rattled right now. You... Saw Mike? What happened? What... what was it like? Well, wait... Yeah, okay, relax. I thought... I don't know, I just thought I could change things, maybe. I don't know, I don't know what I thought. Yeah, I don't think whatever we were doing really worked like that. I'm sorry, Alex. Yeah, it's... I'm sure it was rough. Yeah. No, it was, um... It was good to see him. It was good. He looked good. He looked... Um, himself. I had my older sister. It was a night where... I don't even remember why she was mad at me. Probably something I said to our mom. But I don't know why that who cares night would visit. I wouldn't put much thought into it, Clarissa. Really. I... I don't think it's like a visit. Like it's making a, a conscious choice to come mess with you. You were just... exhaled somewhere. Time-wise. Yeah, I guess the universe doesn't choose to do anything. It just does. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... What? No, are you kidding? We have... Well, we don't have evidence of ghosts, but we know there's a continuation. A, a sort of life after death. This is like the moon landing times a billion. Yeah, but... No one's gonna believe it, so... Is this... Rin, didn't you lose a book? Holy crap! This is it! Thank you! I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard. Hey, that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? 
Uh, prom. 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 I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? That fast food emporium off 219 is more appealing, so... Don't want to break the three-year streak of getting bottomless fries in the parking lot. Come on, come with me and Nona. We'll go dress shopping. It'll be fun. It'll be like a movie montage, except none of us are prostitutes and there's no rich guy. Oh, uh, sure. I, I mean, only if you want to. Of course I want to. I'm asking you to. We'll go to Reggie's. If you can find a stained one, you get 50% off. All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh my god, come on. Nona. <sighs> yeah, I guess we should. Tonight's been, um, noteworthy. Noteworthy. That is a way to say it. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the... yeah, just here. Like, look. I'll just pick a random-ass page. Like, this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. All right, shut up. Cheese! And Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. Ren always loved the town, but the island pretty much erased that in one fell swoop. He ended up going to college in California. He was my best friend, but I don't know if I'll ever see him again. Nona, I think, is going to some ballet academy somewhere, but I kind of fell out of touch with her, to be honest. Clarissa left to study English literature. She was thinking of dropping out, but is keeping at it for now. We talk sometimes. Rarely, but sometimes. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. And she got a dog, too, if you care. Jonas and I are, um, I'll see him every Thanksgiving at least, you know, but I don't think he wants anything more than that. He goes to state so he could be close to his dad, and he loves the town. I'm happy for him. It's funny, what happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day, and then every other day. And then a week went by, and I realized I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's... I don't know. It's good, I think. But anyways, I, um... Well, if it matters. I decided to stay in town and go to college here. It's practically up the road, and I just wanted something familiar, I guess. But anyways, what time is it? Yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Ren's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing. And I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. Ugh, I hope he's not weird or mean or something. Whatever, I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right? Et ben voilà, c'était bien étrange et c'était bien le but de ce qu'on recherchait. Amant étrange, une aventure, une histoire, quelque part ailleurs. Que du bon. Euh, je pense que j'ai dû rater des trucs. C'est l'impression qu'on a quand on finit le jeu, si on peut dire que ce soit fini. Parce que je ne sais pas si vous avez fait gaffe quand j'affichais la map. Euh, on avait euh, des, des trucs à résoudre. Et c'était marqué 1 sur 12. Donc je pense que je suis passé à côté d'événements de, 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 bizarres ou de trucs comme ça. 
Euh, aucune idée du jeu s'il est fait pour de la rejouabilité comme on dit couramment dans le métier. Euh, je pense que la fin du code de posé c'est une invitation puisqu'on se trouve dans une espèce de boucle. Ce serait dommage d'en sortir. Ce serait dommage d'en sortir. Ce serait dommage d'en sortir. Et donc, euh, je vais me permettre quand même de relancer le jeu un petit peu plus tard sans le streamer pour voir la gueule que ça a. Et s'il se passe quelque chose d'intéressant, ben, on se retrouve euh, sur l'écran. Sur ce, Oxenfree, je sais plus s'il est encore gratuit, j'ai pas la date dans la tête, mais foncez, c'est vraiment agréable, quoi. C'est Si vous vous emmerdez un soir, ça vaut largement un bouquin, vu que tout le monde a abandonné la télé, vu le niveau d'abrutissement général. Et euh, ouais, vous perdrez du temps, mais de la meilleure manière qui soit, j'ai l'impression. Donc, voilà, voilà, je vous laisse euh, la fin du générique, je vous fais des petits bisous. Je vous souhaite d'excellentes et merveilleuses fêtes des cadeaux par milliards surtout ceux à faire aux autres c'est les plus importants à mon avis, ce qu'on reçoit ben, c'est mignon mais on préfère le regard des gens qui tentent le paquet, c'est beaucoup plus agréable et ça suffit largement ça n'a pas d'argent des bisous des bisous, des bisous elle est où ma manette, il est où mon truc pour couper le son bonsaï oh merde ça c'est copyrighté par un autre youtubeur